Guys, what a dramatic difference it is this week compared to last week. You had so many people out here, sheriff's deputies as well as Cal Fire, other news crews. Well, the dust has settled and fire officials say they are expecting to have the Fairview fire contained by Saturday. Now, some residents have returned home, some luckier than others. Google. Google. Bunnies, quail, birds. I love the nature, you know, and that's why I was living here. It's quiet and peaceful as most neighbors remember, but there is one big difference in this Hemet community. It really mostly bothered me because I lost my everything, plus I see neighbors lost everything, plus the nature is changed here, you know, because every morning we could see all the birds, animals here. I was feeding them, they were, they were gone. Most homes were spared in the Fairview fire, but for Saeed Gassemi, this is all that's left of his trailer, tucked under a few charred trees. Gassemi immigrated here 37 years ago from Iran, raising his family and eventually finding solace on this property. That's before September 5th, the day he heard his neighbor and sheriff's deputies yelling to get out. I I don't remember how I made it to my truck. We spoke with his son last week after the wind-driven fire tore through Avery Canyon, killing two people before scorching more than 28,000 acres. From there, thousands were evacuated, including Mavali Carberry, who we also spoke to last Wednesday. Do you know if your home is still standing? No. No, we cannot get any information. Fast forward, and her home is right where she left it. We had put the sprinkler. Uh, right on the, the crest of the house where everything comes together. We come up, of course, we could tell that the water had been running forever. So we walked in the house and just was a big sigh of relief and we sort of broke down. And thank God. As a precaution, she had left her sprinklers running on the roof. She's one of many who were spared. Others like Saeed are now just figuring out how to move forward. But if there is one consolation, he still has some of his birds who he says always find their way back. Mm, all right, Shelby. Ah, oh, you, your heart just breaks for yeah. him. You know, how is Saeed doing now after losing his home? Yeah, he has been struggling to find a place to stay. I know his family has been helping him, he tells us, as well as he also reached out to the American Red Cross. But the place they are offering is in San Bernardino. He says it's too far for him to drive because of a disability he has. So it's been uh, quite a difficult process for him. Now, in the meantime, for he, as well as Mavali, the woman that you just heard from, they both are just so grateful for the first responders who came and worked on this fire. They said they don't know what could have happened if they didn't respond as quick as they did. Reporting live here in Hemet, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News.